Good morning. Quick check to see how we're doing here. I am on on my mic. Three minutes. There we go. Okay. So I'm not playing music in the background. I'll figure that out as we progress. I'll tell you about. Coming through to, I'm putting on my own music. Please put on your own music. There we go. All right. On Spotify. So I have a Spotify playlist that you can always enjoy with your workouts. I'm going to do boot camp summer 2022. All right, there starts with Coldplay. Super fun music. All right, let me tell you about the program. Welcome. Hi, my name is Kelly, and this is my friend Maxwell. Good morning, and your chickens. The class today, we're going to do one circuit. The circuit has three parts in it, and each part has three parts in it. <laughs> so the three parts are strength training, cardio training, and core training. We'll do progressions in each of the uh, exercises that we do. The last part, so that'll last for 20 minutes, and then the second part of the workout is a sprint to eight. And then we'll have a good stretch afterwards. So stay with me, get some medium heavy weights. I'm gonna be lifting 12 pound weights the entire time. So my suggestion is between eight and 12 pounds, depending on your level. And this is also somewhat low intensity, but the, the increase in intensity will be towards the end of each exercise. So let's start with our warm up. The warm up is five minutes in total time. All right, so no equipment needed. Roll your shoulders back, pick them up and roll them back, and squat. Curl your biceps right there. And you wanna press your feet down into the ground as you squat. Even though we're not lifting any weight with that squat, I want you to press your feet down. Curl your biceps right there, sink down. Now go a little bit lower into that squat. And I'll stand, hold the second move and the perfect 10 moves for the warm up is a reverse lunge and sweep your arms forward. Now let's change a little bit, sweep forward and then bend your elbows, turn to the side. Sweep forward, bend your elbows, turn to the other side. Reach forward and turn, other side, reach, turn. Stabilize in your feet, turn. One more time, the third move and the perfect 10 moves for the warm up is a reach towards your foot, step side, and then reach up. So now moving in a different plane of motion, step out and reach up, reach your arms up and stretch. Right there, reach, feel your entire body stretch. Press your feet down, grow tall right there, reach. Lift up, and now we're going to take it down to the ground. Move number four in the perfect 10 moves. Hand on the floor, reach up, and then rotate under. Point your elbow towards the floor, right there. You're shifting your hips forward, and squeeze that glute on the left side. My toes are slightly turned out on the right side. Reach up, rotate under, point your elbow towards the floor. Remember, this is warming up your body. So pay attention. This is also the time that you take inventory. What's going on? Hand on the floor, reach up. Inventory, upper body, shoulders. Inventory of the hips, your knees, mainly your joints, and then the muscles. Pay attention, and if you're feeling anything awkward or Stiff, just modify what you need to in the, in the workout. Now come into plank right here. Lower down to the mat all the way. Now lift your chest away from the floor, flutter your legs. Keep your hands right here, lift your heart, lift your chest. Now reach the hands off the mat. 
and reach forward and make a circle. Reach out and make a circle. Now go the opposite direction. Reach forward with the arms. Keep swimming the legs. Nicely done. Press into the floor. Lift all the way up. Downward facing dog. Pedal your heels. Move number six. Plank to downward facing dog. Do that again. Plank. Flatten your back. Downward facing dog. Again, plank to downward facing dog. Beautiful job. Plank, downward facing dog. Walk your feet in. Stand up. Reach up overhead. And now do a hamstring curl. Flexing at the knee joint. And then reaching your arms, heel to your glute. Stretching the quad in the front of the leg and flexing your hamstring. Pull those elbows back. Reach and pull. Fill your shoulders. Blades spread apart when you reach. And now let's elevate the heart rate. March it out. Pump your arms. Turning your heels in right and left. Keep moving. Progressively getting your heart rate up. Simple move to start with, and then we'll pick up our pace. Two more moves to go. Jump rope. Number nine of the 10 perfect moves. Turn your rope. Bounce on the balls of your feet. Right there. Turn the rope. Bounce, bounce. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Mic's on. All right, let's have fun, guys. No worries. Last move, jumping jacks. So low, right here, low intensity. Our low impact are here. Reach the arms overhead. Fingers come together and tap the outside of the legs. Keep going. You got it. Come on. Press your heels down. Reach up and overhead. And you're done. Fantastic work. How are you feeling? Ah, you ready to go? Okay. Grab your chicken. Get your, get your chicken. All right. Bye, Maxwell. Thanks for showing up. <laughs> get some water. very quickly, and then we'll move on. Here we go. Timer set. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is grab the weights, so squat to pick up your weights, use your legs to stand up, and let's do a front squat. So front squat means the weights are right here in the front of your shoulders, and Squat down and then lift up. So 20 seconds on the first move. And then we'll do an upper body move. And then we'll put it together. So one minute time, squat, overhead press, and then together. Now overhead press. Press straight up. And your palms can be facing your ears the entire time. And I want you to grip the weight strong right there elbows come slightly out and then down lift press the weight straight up all the way to the ceiling straight arms now squat to press and you don't want to see your arms or your peripheral vision so don't press forward and up press straight up beside the ears lift heart rate elevating putting the moves together beautiful job one more and you're there. Second move of the three moves in the first of the three sections, plyometrics or cardio. Call it cardio, keeping it low intensity or at the plyometrics. So squat. And I want you to reach your arms back. There's your tricep contraction right there. So reaching the arms straight and back. 
and then squat, weight back in your heels. And again, you're pressing your feet down. The progression, just lift the heels. Calf raise, get a calf pump right there. Lift, press the ground away with the balls of the feet. Think, press, press, up. Plyometrics, if you're good. You ready? Now hold and hop. Hold, soft landing. When you do a plyometric, it's about the landing, right? So you want to bend your knees, be buoyant, soft on that landing. Do it again. Fill in the thighs. Do one more. Beautiful. You got it. All right. Taking it down. The third move, core training. So lower down all the way. Place your right ankle on your left knee. Plant your right elbow and bring your right, your left elbow to your right knee. Up and over. Down. I know. Catching your breath, right? Across. It's real, guys. Do it again. Across. Change sides. Across. Tap the elbow. Bring the elbow across. Tap the knee. Form. Chin off your chest. And make the elbow come all the way over. Touch the knee. Even if you bring the knee in, you're creating, you're, there's more effort to the move. Bring the knee in. Now, bicycle. Straight leg straight out, hovering the floor, or easier on the back. Toes pointing towards the ceiling. Think like to the ceiling and the wall crease right there. Nicely done. Come on up. All right, the first, the first one down. Here's the second one. We'll circle back through this one time. All right, grab your weight. Turn, I'm going to turn to the side. Step back, right leg, lower, and step, tap together. Lower and tap together. So it's a lunge, lower, and you can hover the knee over the floor or tap the floor with the knee. Just tap. Now stem forward with a staggered stance and curl. Right there, shoulders back, curl. You got it. Do it again. So upper body now, and then we'll put it together. You ready? When you put the moves together, that's when your heart rate really climbs. Let's do it. Lunge first, and then curl when you stand. So the work, the effort coming from standing at the same time you're pulling that weight up to your shoulders. Do it again. Excellent. Do one more. Fantastic. All right, let's change sides. So the moving leg, left leg, shoulders back. Breathe. And just lunge, hold that weight. Strong, light suitcases. Lunge and forward. And I'm just tapping the floor forward, using the forward leg to stand up. Try not to push off the back foot. Use that forward leg. All right, so now stagger your feet, bicep curl. Right there, curl. Reach the weights down. When you curl, I want you to keep integrity in the elbows by not collapsing into that joint. Keep the elbows to your sides. Don't lift them up. Now lunge and then curl. Do it again. Lunge and curl. Again, lunge and curl. Fantastic. Lunge, curl. Excellent. Lunge, curl. One more. And you got it. All right, strength part down. Second part. Cardio. So, similarly, knee drive. You ready? So, knee drive, bring the knee up. So, this is strengthening the glute and the quad, hamstring on the left side. 
Then on the right side, hip flexor is working, lifting that knee up to your chest, sweep the arms. Now add just a little hop. That's your progression, just a little hop. Barely leave the ground. Reaching the arms, little lift, up. Sweep the arms. Try not to push the heel away too much back there. It's easy to kind of get into that back leg. Now lift up higher. So this is the part, plyometric. Lift up as high as you can, feeling that left leg work, popping you up to the floor. Up, up. Stay positive. Do one more. Fantastic work. All right, so that left leg was forward. Now bring the right leg forward. Right leg, left leg back. You ready? Let's do it. Shoulders back, arms like this, knee drive, up. Here's where you get your balance. Think about that leg in the front. How's your shoe fitting on your foot? Think about that, seriously. That's the soft skill part. Your, how your clothes fit. Your shoes should be laced well. Now add just a little hop. Just a little hop. Small hop off the floor. Push off the ground. Feel your muscles burn just a little bit. That's your fast twitch muscle fibers. That small amount of energy lifting you off the floor. Now go higher. Go. Come on. Up. Up. Lift up. Reach up. Nicely done. Come on. Up. Lift. Lift. Fantastic. All right, now we're at core. Number three, hands and knees. Bird dog. So this is core stabilization, guys. Left leg up, straight. Toes pointing down, right arm straight. Hold it 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Now tap the thigh, don't move your spine. Two, three, four, one more. Five, six, just keep going. Seven, eight, nine, now hold. 10, nine, relax the shoulders. Soften the elbow, but straight arm. All right, last time, touch the thigh and then reach. Touch the thigh and reach. Same side the entire time. Keep the hips level, touch, gaze slightly forward. One more, set it down. Child's pose briefly. We'll do the other side. A little trembling, it's okay. Come up. All right, so right hand, tuck your left toes, right leg up, left arm, hold. Right here, abs in, pull your back up. Don't round, just straight spine. Core conditioning, core stabilization right here, holding this bird dog position. Now tap the thigh and reach. Tap. Don't move your spine. Keep the spine stable. So it's not a crunch. This is bird dog without the spine rounding and crunching. More working on stabilization of the body. And then hold right here. Press your hand down. Breathe. Lift your belly in. Sweat rolling off my nose. Toes pointing down, press the hand down. Soften your elbow, but keep a straight arm and breathe. Nicely done. Child's pose for just a moment. We have one more, one more, and then we'll cycle back through. All right, RDL. So pick up your weight, standing on left leg, standing, reach the weights towards the shin, and then come back up. Do that again. Reach the weights towards the shin, 
and then come back up. Do it again. Reach. Back up. Now stagger your feet, bend your knees, hinge forward. Keep that left foot forward so that you remember what leg was a standing leg. Row. And then we'll put it together. Row. Shoulders relax. Grip the dumbbells. All five fingers around it. All right, stand up first. RDL. Hold. Row. And stand back up. Do it again. RDL. Hold. Row. Stand back up. Do it again. RDL. Row. Stand up. And you're there. Let's do the other side. Are you having fun? <laughs> That's the important part. A plan doesn't work unless you're having fun. At least a little bit anyway, right? Okay, so hold your weights. RDL first. Standing leg is the right leg. And what I do is, because you need to bring the weight in front of the shin, is I tap my weights together in the front of the shin. So then I know I've made my move correct. Don't go too low. Don't overstretch the hamstring. All right, so now stagger your feet, right foot forward, bend your knees, back, lats, abs in, elbows up to the sides. Come on, up, lift, pump it, up, reach. Now put it together. Here we go, standing balancing. I find that my right leg is my weaker side, so this is harder for me to balance. Hold and row, and then do it again. RDL, hold, and row. Nicely done, excellent work. All right, you ready? Here's the, here's the cardio. Okay, we'll ease into this. So be super safe right here, careful. So you're just gonna lunge and step to the other side. Bend your knee, lower down, lower down. And use your arms like this. So my opposite arm to the forward knee, right here. So now you're gonna go three, two, one, hop to the other side. Three, two, energy hop. Three, two, power hop. Three, look forward, power hop. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Now take the pulse out. Big hop to the other side. So keeping this safe, a lot of times these plyometric lunges can be too much work for the knees. So keeping it a little more controlled with that hop in the center. One more. Your heart rate still went up, right? Excellent, we kept it safe. Lie down on your back. The core move, abdominal conditioning. Lower down, start with hands behind the head. Lift up, look at the ceiling. So upper body crunches, elbows back. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Up, lift the blades, lift, lift. All right, lower body, head on the floor, hands on the floor. And you can just bend your knees, curl the legs in, and you place your hands underneath your lower back, bend the knees, curl the legs in, staying safe. All right, so now put it together, knees in, and then extend the legs and arms, hollow body. Elbows to knees, legs out, arms out, hollow body. Try to get your legs parallel. If it's okay for your back, you gotta press it down. Elbows right there. Touch and reach. Hollow body, hold, three, two, one, and cross and roll. All right. Cycling back through. Let's do some squats. Squat to pick it up. Ha <laughs> ha. Front squat. So one more time through this, and then we'll do our sprint eight, stretch and be done. Down and then up. Squat 
and lift. You don't have to go below parallel. You can just squat to where it's comfortable. Right there. Now press overhead, straight up. So your arms beside your ears. You shouldn't be able to see the arms in the peripheral vision. Right, lift and down. Hold the weight strong, straight up and down. Do it again, straight up. Now put it together. Squat, press. Squat, press straight up. Down, up. Squat, press your feet down into the ground. Lift to the top, push the floor away. And you are done with that. Set it down. Progression of squats. Work into a plyometric if you're ready for that. You ready? Depending on your level, if you're new to exercise or to my workouts, then maybe just keep it at level one or level two. All right, so now add the arms, curl, sweep, bicep, tricep, bicep, tricep. Good job. Now, calf raise, calf raise. Lift up, push the floor away. You're doing great. Stay with me. Awesome job. Come on. All right, now, get some air. Soft landing. Hold, do it again. Make your ponytail lift. Come on, do it again. Lift, excellent, come on, again. Do it again. One more. One more. Woo! See, you forgot about that, right? Feel that burn? Fast switch muscle fibers. Core. All the way down. Ankle on knee. Across. Touch. Now you know this well. Get it right. So my right elbow pressing into the floor. Left elbow coming across. Fantastic job. Come on. Feel your body moving across. One more. Change sides. Fluidly moving. Chin off your chest. Don't pull in the head. Come on. Lift. Bicycle fluid movement. Remember, legs parallel harder. Abs in, legs lifted up higher at a higher angle or get more parallel to the floor. Right there. All right. Keep it going. Nicely done. Roll it up. That's it. We don't have any more. So we won't finish those other two. We did 20 minutes of of our trifecta, strength, cardio, and core, making up our boot camp. Now, let's do a sprint aid. That was 20 minutes, guys. So, good calorie burn there. I find that my Apple Watch or any type of tracker helps me stay on point during the week just seeing my movement. Because some days you do slow down and you have less movement, but it's just good to be aware of that. Sprint eight. Okay, so 30 seconds on the clock, 130 on, on the rest, one minute and 30 seconds. Setting my clock. I didn't get to this earlier. Just take a few seconds to do this. One thirty. Keeps going past. Okay, one thirty set, and we've got eight rounds, and that's it. And we're gonna do two moves. This is actually fourteen minutes, and then we'll stretch. Set. We'll recover and stretch. So get ready. Stretch. All right. Get some water if you haven't already. Here's the sprint. First thing we're going to do is high knees. And I'm going to count for you, okay? 
So I want you to count how many times your knee taps your hands. Okay, and we'll try to stay with that number for four, four rounds. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, 25, 27, 28, 30, 31, 33, 34, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, And even 50. Nicely done. Carefully. You got a minute and a half. So the next three rounds are the same move. We're going to try to beat 50. So that's the beauty of a sprint eight. You keep score of your movement. And in between, just relax. Let your heart rate recover and see if you can perform just as well the next rounds and maybe beat your score. So it's a way of effectively increasing your strength, your cardiovascular strength by working harder each time. How else do you know how hard to work, right? So if we have a number, so make a circle with the arms. Let's see where we are. We've got 30 more seconds. We'll just, we'll stretch between each sprint. Right arm in front and across, and then bring it back the same way, flossing the shoulder, left, up, and then back, and then bring it back, and then in front. Okay, so we've got 15 seconds to prepare. All right, so we've got 50 as our number. We're going to beat 50, so go ahead and start this tap. And by the way, I'm counting right and left as one. Okay, so five, four, three, two, and one, go. Three, four, five, six, seven. Lift your knees up. 11, 12, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 23, 24, 26, 27, 29, 30, 31, 32, 34, 35, 37, 38, 40, 42, 43. 7, 48, 49, 50. We got our number. I think our first time I got a head start on that counting. <laughs> so that was more accurate. All right. Be real, people. Be true to yourself. Okay. Catch your breath. Little movement. Reach your arms up and stretch. And bring your right hand behind your head. So first, chin is into the chest, but then press your head back into your form. 30 or a minute and a half of recovery. Reach up, change arms. Tricep stretch other arm, hand behind the back. Give yourself a pat on the back for being here. You're doing an awesome job. Lift those knees up high, guys. If your knees are down low, it's a lot easier. You get those knees as high as your hips. It makes a huge difference. Okay, so now stretch to the right. Bend your knees, stretch to the left. Right again. And then left. Do it again, one more time. Both sides, press your feet down. Stand in the center of your mat. Shoulders back. Tap your thighs. You ready? Let's do this. Go. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-two, forty-four, forty-five. 48, 49, 50. We got our number. Woo! See what I'm talking about? This works, guys. This will keep your metabolism revved up for many hours during the day after this. One of the things I've learned in my reading and research 
is that it helps to not take in any sugar, anything that's like a processed carb after doing a sprint because your body wants, needs to get back to its normal pace and then the metabolism being up, your muscles stay strong, you'll, you're, you'll burn fat <laughs> and calories, reach up and stretch overhead and exhale down. If you wanna learn more about that, please message me. I know all about it. I've got plenty of documentation about the sprint and how it works, which is why I do it. All right, now I even have a program. It's called the Sprint 8 for seven days. He'll, do, he'll hamstring crawl, just a little movement. Okay, we've got one more of these and then we're gonna move on to the next move and do four of that, okay? So tap, tap, we've got 50 to get. Here we go, stay with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, 10, 12, 13, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 25, 26, 28, 29, 31, 32, 34, 35, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 44, 46, 47, 49, 50, 52. We got past our score. Oh my goodness. Oh, catch your breath. Get some water. So it should feel like this. It should feel like the hardest thing you've done. It will probably be the hardest thing you do today. Think about that. <laughs> Get some water. Oh. Little movement. Likes feeling flimsy, right? Okay, so the next move is a plyo jack. I know we won't get a high number because you can only hop so quick, right? I'm gonna show you modifications. So the first is a tap, reach overhead and touch your hands together. So you can just stay here and count these. So think jack the legs out, touch the floor, bend your knees. Otherwise it's down and then up. All right, march it out. What's your guess? My guess is 30. Maybe we'll surprise ourselves. Are you ready? Let's do it, go. Even number, 22. Okay, so let's try to make that number be consistent three more times. Get some water if you need to. Step side to side. How's your body feeling? I know, summer's here. Putting on those tank tops, shorts, you want to feel good in your skin, let me help you. Tap side to side. You're good. Now do a hamstring curl right here. Step in hamstring curl. Pinch the elbows to get, or bring the elbows back. Pinch the blades. Now tap. Now tap close. Tap close. Tap, hamstring curl. Okay, round number three, sorry, <laughs> round number two. Two more to go after that. All right, here we go. Bring your legs together. Remember, you can stay low, touch and reach, 
touch, be vigorous about the movement. Otherwise, hop it. You ready? And go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're halfway. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, and then 20, 21, 22, one more, 23. All right, we added one on. Okay, barely got that in. <laughs> Feel your heart rate up, right? So that's how this works. Just a little side step. Now take it, tap, hold your hips. Tap behind as you recover. Tap side. Tap, tap. Oh, I went to ballroom dancing. First lessons, so much fun. Tap forward, tap. I won't show you <laughs> what I learned. I haven't practiced that. Shoulders back. Two more rounds. All right, reach up and stretch. Solid on your feet. Reach up. Lean one side. Lean the other side. Reach up. Sweep the arms down and bring it up. Lean again. Right. Are you sweaty? Left. Feeling your body. Feeling good. Reach up. So you're not quite as recovered as you were the first times, right? Or the first round when we did the high knee run. So again, low, like that, all right, or high, go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. All right, we got our first number. Wow, I'm feeling that. Okay, hang in there. Shake it off. Don't get in your head. When you're feeling that feeling, just move and breathe. What your body needs primarily, oxygen and movement and water. <laughs> so try to stick with drinking water during the day. No sugary drinks. Sit up side to side. Now tap rear. Here we go. Tap. We'll go around the body. Tap side. Tap. Like you're dancing, tap forward, tap. We got 30 seconds. And then the last one. And then I'll show you an athletic stretch that you can always do, easy to remember. That's the important part. If you can remember it, then you can do it later. So keeping it, sim keeping it simple, the KISS principle. All right, here we go, 10 seconds. Last one, you guys, you can do it. Remember, low or how to hop, like this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, slowing down, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, let's finish, 21, and 22. Woo! Get your water. Stay upright for a bit. Walk around. Shake it off. You're okay. Water.
Okay, athletic stretch. You ready? Bring your right foot forward, left knee down. Shift your hips forward, pull in your abs, shoulders back. Now reach your arms up, holding it static. Squeeze the glute on that left side. Grab, reach for your left elbow, hand behind your head, and lift your chin. Pull your abs in. Look at that, we did it. On a Saturday morning, now you're ready for the rest of your day and a good evening. It's beautiful here in Nashville, Tennessee. Hope it's beautiful wherever you are. Inhale, reach. Now, second stretch. So it's that lunge stretch number one and then hamstring stretch number two. Now you can have your hands on something. I always suggest to clients that have tight hamstrings to use dumbbells like this. So like that. So then you can keep your back flat. And then if you can go lower, bend your elbows right there. See how nice that is, having a prop? I want you to breathe three more breaths of air. Inhale, exhale, breathe in, breathe out, inhale, and lift up. Now change sides. So set your knee down, other foot forward, and shift forward right there. And you can use your dumbbells as props. Flex your glute. And then I want you to bring your arms up and reach for your elbow. Look forward, chin off your chest. Knee over the ankle in the front, look forward. You're doing awesome, awesomeness, beautiful, positivity. Inhale and reach. And then hamstring stretch, use your dumbbells. Point the dumbbells up like this. Point your toes up like the dumbbells. And then with a flat back, bend your elbows and hinge forward. Good. Inhale, exhale, hinge forward more. Keep your hip over the knee right there. I'm tucking my toes under, stretching out that toe joint and the bottom of my foot. Relax your shoulders. All right, so now we need to lie down on our back because need to, we need to set our hips. So move the dumbbells out of the way and sit on your mat. Lower down all the way. So you can think of this as legs up the wall, but right leg up, left leg up. There's your hamstrings stretching. Press your lower back into the floor, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Toes pointing down. Then reach up for your hamstrings and squeeze the hamstrings. Then press your fingertips into the back of the knees. There's a muscle back there. Make a circle both directions. Then reach up and squeeze your calves right there. Squeeze, kind of like giving them a hug. Hug the calves right there. Now look at your toes. Can you flex your feet? Toes pointing towards your forehead. Reach for your right foot and then your left foot. Breathe. Three, two, one. Lower your left leg to the floor. Press that leg down all the way. Hamstring, calf to the floor. Bend your right knee and then the knee across the body to the other side. Reach your right arm over to the right. Look over to the right. Relax your body. Inhale and exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lift up. And let's change sides. So first, lift the legs up straight. Squeeze the hamstrings. Let's do the same thing again. So you remember, a little repetition for your memory. Then make a circle behind the knees. Press into the back of the knees. Now squeeze your calves. Look at your toes. Pointing towards your forehead, reach right hand, left hand. Bend your knees if you need to, head on the floor. Relax your shoulders down. Let your right foot go, right leg down. Bend your left knee, press your right calf down. And then the left knee across the body to the other side. This is the final stretch, you guys. Look over to the left. Awesome. You did a fantastic job. Breathe. Boot camp 101. Lift up. 
Excellent. And bring your knees into your chest. Cross your ankles, roll. Onto your hands and your knees. Cat and cow. Cat and cow. Tuck your toes, lift your knees, step in. Inhale, reach up, stretch overhead. And you've done it again. Thank you so much for joining me. Please let me know about your experience. And I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.